welcome. I'm Jessica Awesome. I'm going to talk to you today about Transition Tennessee, an initiative to strengthen transition services and supports in Tennessee. Students with disabilities aspire to go to work. We know that because 98% of youth with disabilities reported that they expect to have a job after high school. Unfortunately, the reality of that experience for students with disabilities is that only 57% were working four years after high school. So while I just spoke to you about the reality of the work situation for youth with disabilities, I really want to talk to you about the people that need to be involved to make this process better. So the complexities of change for youth with disabilities. So while proper preparation for students with disabilities is extremely important to helping them achieve their goals for adulthood, we also have to make sure that we're involving the network that students need. So often we're dealing with these different, um, you know, negative attitudes towards students with disabilities, low expectations potentially, a lack of awareness of disability and a, a misunderstanding of what opportunities are available in the community for students with disabilities. So we really need to look at who is directly involved in serving and supporting these students, but who else needs to be involved in that as well. So when we talk about those directly involved, we're really talking about families, schools, employers, agencies, and service providers. And that's really the core network for students with disabilities. But then we also have these other community partners. So those folks that we need to make sure that are directly and indirectly involved. So these create that network that are going to help students with disabilities have that flourishing life that we really want them to have. So at Transition Tennessee, our goal really is to equip, connect, resource, and encourage all of these groups of people. For us, it's really all about the students at the end of the day, but we also believe that that means that we have to make that we have to prepare and support um, these groups so that they are engaged, trained, and partnered. So we're, we really focus on four of these groups. So we focus on secondary educators, providers of pre-employment transition services, or PREADS, which I'll refer to it as PREADS for the remainder of the presentation families, and of course, students. So we really try to equip educators and providers in multiple ways. So the first way um, is to ensure easy access to best practices and transition. So we have our website, transitiontn.org, which will be on my last slide, um, where we house courses um, for educators and providers. So some of these courses are pathways to employment, pathways to post-secondary education, instruction in self-advocacy, or ways to partner with the different groups that need to be involved. That's just a few of the many, many pieces of content that are available on our website. But we do separate these on our website to educators and providers, but we really do believe that all of the courses apply to anyone doing transition work. The other piece to this best practices in transition um, are communities of practice. So really they started out for special educators, but they now also include providers often. So there is space for to provide content on best practices, but also some hands on ideas for classroom instruction. It's a space where providers and educators can connect and share um, successes and challenges and ideas. The second, plate, second piece here is uh, to provide resources that aid in transition planning. So we do this in a couple of ways. So the first is um, through our assessment and curriculum databases. So they're really searchable databases, two separate ones, but searchable databases that gather student assessments and curricula for transition all in one place. We also do targeted technical assistance with districts across Tennessee. Um, where they are actually have an application process and they tell us what they need. And we just focus on making sure that we're going beyond just compliance, such as like IEP compliance. And then we also have training for providers. So making sure that they, these folks who are providing pre ads across Tennessee have a space that they can come together, learn, share, and grow. And whenever possible, in all of these circumstances and situations, we make sure that educators and providers are working together. 
The third piece here is to showcase innovative work taking place, both in the state, but also across the country. So we do that um, on our website, of course, we house all of our content on our website, but we also do that through our presentations across the country. We do that on our social media accounts and um, in our monthly webcasts, where we really are highlighting what is going on within our state and across the country that is going to help educators and providers do the job that they are already doing, but better and more effectively. So all of this is to say that we're trying to raise expectations around what youth can accomplish with the right supports. Um, so that's why we do our best to really give educators and providers all the tools that they need to support and serve their students. And so we also try to resource and empower our students and families directly. So, you know, with the families, we, we first start by providing resources. So we want to ensure that information um, is translating beyond just the classroom for our families in Tennessee. So that means that we do things like provide um, tip sheets. So in plain language, so very simple plain language, um, one page um, information sheet that talk about how employment will affect their children's uh, benefits or the different diploma options or what vocational rehabilitation is. We also are developing a family resource guide that will be housed on our website. Um, it's a place that Tennessee families can go and like a one-stop shop to learn about different transition resources for their, for their children so that they aren't trying to sift through everything that exists on the internet. We've also, as of recent, been hosting virtual transition fairs. Um, these have been focusing on higher education options and employment options uh, for youth uh, after high school. Both uh, families that include students are attending these as well. The second piece is that we have been soliciting feedback and research participation from families whenever possible. Because the information that we're developing is for them, we want to make sure that it actually helps them. So we ask for their feedback on the content that we create, but we also ask for their help with research, such as a statewide needs assessment on pre-employment transition services that we just did. Um, we're also asking for family feedback on our new student website that is going to be launched soon. So with this student website that we're developing, we know that you know, there's a lot of curricula that exists out there. There are workbooks, there's a lot of transition information, but there's not many interactive spaces that students can go to and learn about their um, future and how to prepare for that. So we created this in collaboration with our funders, who is the Tennessee Department of Vocational Rehabilitation, um, really under the categories of pre-employment transition services. So those five services, job exploration counseling, work-based uh, work learning, workplace readiness training, counseling on post-secondary employment options, or uh, post-secondary education options, and uh, instruction in self-advocacy. So while I, I say that, because while it was created under the categories of pre-eds, pre-eds are just transition. So it's not only for providers to use with their students. So it's really an online learning tool that students complete, can complete on their own or with the help of their families, their provider, their teacher. And it includes branching scenarios like choose your own adventure. It includes school-based and community-based activities games and a transition portfolio that they can physically take away from everything that they're learning. There will be sections for students who want to go straight to work. There will also be a section for students who want to go on to further education. So within each of those, there will be four lessons. So they'll be able to explore their different options. They'll be able to learn about their needs, rights, and responsibilities as they go on to employment or education. They'll be able to learn about resources and organizations that can help them. And then community activities that they can help, that can help them prepare and succeed in the future. So we're anticipating that that will be um, launched. Um, the work side of that will be launched early this fall. So I wanna thank you for um, being with me today and listening to me talk a little bit about the ways in which we're trying to support students with disabilities. Um, as they transition into adulthood. 
So here's my contact information and then um, also our Transition Tennessee website, www.transitiontn.org. So thank you.